I think they have a huge influence. Of course, I grew up with Daphne Schippers being on the sprint side, one of the best at least there is, and that was really inspiring for me. Winning a race is every athlete's goal. After all, that's the entire essence of the sport, isn't it? No one, absolutely no one, would like to be crossing the finish line last. In fact, even podium winners, bronze and silver medalists that is, are sometimes disappointed for not getting gold. Because of this, they all train very hard, and Femco Bowl is no exception. While a medal, preferably gold, is enough for them to rejoice and for the exhaustion brought about by months of hard training to seep off their tensed bodies, monetary prizes are very much welcomed as well. As you all know, the Dutch sprinter recently concluded her indoor season with an absolute bang. Well, we really shouldn't expect any less from someone who was awarded as the Female Athlete of the Year last season. That too is no surprise since Bull displayed exceptional athletic prowess in the past season by securing two gold medals at the 2023 World Athletics Championships held in Budapest, Hungary, as well as the top position in the women's 400-meter hurdles event after registering a spectacular time of 51.70 seconds. She also contributed to the Dutch team's victory in the 4x400-meter relay event along with Leica Klaver, Eveline Salberg, and Kathleen Peters. The team set a new world lead after clocking a time of 3 minutes 20.72 seconds. Speaking of setting a world record, she did this several times last year. In fact, she started her 2023 by breaking a world indoor record at the New Balance Indoor Grand Prix in Boston. There, she set a women's 500-meter world best of 1 minute 5.63 seconds. It was then that she broke the 17-year-old mark of 1 minute 6.31 seconds to finish almost 3 seconds clear of Jamaica's Leah Anderson, who recorded a national record of 1 minute 8.34 seconds. Then, she once again made history when she broke the longest standing track record in the world the nearly 41-year-old mark in the women's indoor 400 meters when she ran 49.26 seconds at the Dutch Indoor Championships in Appledorn, breaking the previous record set by Czech runner Jamila Krochtelova with a time of 49.59 seconds in March 1982. Just so you know, the record was the oldest on record in any track event, including the Olympics or World Outdoor or Indoor Championships. And then, on to the Worlds, where she, as earlier mentioned, showed the world her exceptional athletic prowess. But that's not all. Most remarkably, she finished the year unbeaten in 20 flat 400-meter races. Can you believe that? Well, it's Femme Cabol we're talking about, so you can probably believe that completely. But that does not discount the fact that it was a very remarkable feat. Although she broke and set new world records countless times throughout her career, she's still there out for blood. Kidding, of course, but she's really and truly back on track as she continues to chase greatness and forge a path others would dream of following. So far this season, she's been owning the track. She opened the season by showcasing her prowess at the Meeting Mets Moselle at the Lower meeting of the 2024 World Athletics Indoor Tour in early February delivering a stellar performance with a time of 49.69 in the 400 meters. Of course, it wouldn't be Bowl if she hadn't achieved more than a win for the event. Her run marks the sixth fastest time indoors and the swiftest season opener in history. The previous fastest time was registered by Jarmila Krachtelova in 1981 when she clocked 50.07 seconds. Bowl left behind Andrea Miklos and Julia Niederberger, who recorded 51.41 seconds and 52.96 seconds to secure the top position. In her second race for the season, the 23-year-old Dutch sprinter topped the women's 200-meter event after registering a time of 22.64 seconds. The time sets a new personal best for her in the 200 meters, showcasing a remarkable improvement. A few days later, the two-time European Athlete of the Year recorded the fourth fastest time in history indoors in the 400 meters at the meeting Hauts de France Pas de Calais in Levin. There, she lowered her world lead to 49.63. The following weekend, she sprinted to 50.55 in the heats just before her fourth race in February. 
At the National Indoor Championships in Appledorn, she improved her own record of 49.26 when she cruised through 200 meters in the lead and then powered over the finish line in 49.24 seconds to dip under 50 seconds indoors for the sixth time in her career so far. And so, one year after breaking Jamila Krachkalova's long-standing World Indoor 400-meter record of 49.59 with 49.26, held at the same venue no less, Bull improved her mark, which meant that she now holds six of the 12 fastest indoor 400-meter times in history. Then, at the 2024 World Athletics Indoor Championships in Glasgow, Scotland, Bull enhanced her status as one of the stars of track and field with a stunning triumph, as she broke her own world record to take the 400-meter title. After leading the pack for the majority of the race, the 24-year-old streaked away on the finishing straight to record a time of 49.17 seconds. That's not all. With this win, Bol just became the fifth Dutch athlete to win a world indoor title, after Ellie van Hulst, Nelly Koeman, Nadine Broersen, and Sifan Hassan. It's her 15th medal at a major international championship. In addition to the honor she brought to her country land with the record-breaking win, along with the world indoor title, Bol went home with additional prizes. Some described it as, Dutch woman Femke Kabol will head to the bank smiling thanks to her dominant exploits at the World Indoor Championships. The reigning World 400m Hurdles champion extended her winning streak to the 4x400m relay team, propelling the team to victory. But that's not the additional prize I was telling you about. Thanks to her efforts on the global stage, Bol will walk away with $40,000, more than 5 million KSH. For breaking the new world record, the Dutch woman will walk away with $50,000, which is equal to more than 7 million KSH. Overall, she is expected to receive $100,000, not including any potential bonuses from her new balance contract. For the 4x400m relay team, the whole team will receive $40,000. However, it is not certain on the amount of money each athlete will receive since six women participated in the discipline. However, Bol and Lassan DeWitt are the only two who ran both rounds. For those who are not aware, Bol's financial assets encompass her earnings from prize money, endorsements, sponsorships, and investments. Obviously, her net worth is significant due to her exceptional athletic achievements and popularity. She has won multiple medals at the Olympic Games, World Championships, and European Championships. Her success on the track has earned her lucrative endorsement deals with major brands, contributing to her overall wealth. Her net worth is a testament to her hard work, dedication, and athletic prowess. She serves as an inspiration to aspiring athletes and demonstrates the financial rewards that can come with success in professional sports. But more than the monetary aspect, Bull, like many other athletes, is in it for the love of the sport. Unsurprisingly, she has set her eyes on the Olympic Games in Paris, France, where she intends to stun the world, owing to the fact that she has had a great build-up towards the event. But before that, she is set to defend her European Championship title in the 400-meter hurdles in a couple of months. Bowl being bowl, she has expressed her readiness for the 2024 European Championships set for June 7th through 12th in Rome. Anyhow, like Bowl, other athletes are gearing up to compete at the upcoming Summer Olympics as well. Watch this to see for yourself.